finally looks like tonight we've got some absolutely perfect clear skies there's hardly a cloud in the forecast until way later tonight the winds have gotten down pretty low finally tonight's it's gonna be a perfect night to finally shoot a run The Orion Nebula, or M42, was the single target that made me want to get into deep sky astrophotography. There are so many beautiful images of it online that I knew I just had to try and get one myself. And that's what started me down this black hole of a hobby, if you will. The Orion Nebula was, was the very first thing I looked at whenever I first bought my 8-inch Skywalker Dobsonian. And not long after that was also the first thing that I attempted to image through it. Since then, I've had quite a few attempts at the Orion Nebula, some being better than others, and my most recent one being so-so with the uh, Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens on the Skywalker Star Adventure. It was a setup that basically got me to where I am today with this with this setup here. And I'm really excited tonight to finally get a really good shot at M42. Looking at the clear outside app, it shows there may be some clouds on the horizon here later, way later this evening. But you can see a tiny sliver of a moon up above my head right now. That's going to be setting here around 11 o'clock tonight, so that's not going to interfere whatsoever. And as soon as it gets dark, Orion will be rising right out of this tree right here, just over my right shoulder. The only thing I'm battling right now is the wind. You may can hear it picking up in the mic a little bit, but there is a little bit of a wind which has kind of died down throughout the day today. Uh, if it keeps it up, I may end up moving the rig over to this side of the house just to keep it out of the wind. But hopefully it's going to die down as it starts getting dark, and we'll just go from there. So, let's wait for these clear skies. Alright, it's really starting to get pretty dark out here now, and I'm sure you can see Venus up here at the top of the frame too. And I went ahead and got my focus and everything set on Venus, so that should be all set. Right now I'm just waiting on Polaris to pop out. You can kind of start to make it out a little bit, but I'm going to wait a little bit. But thankfully, the wind has died down here a lot. So we should be good to set up right here. I've already gone ahead and got it all balanced out. Uh, I did go in and check to make sure I'm shooting in raw mode too, which I am. So that should all be squared away. Basically, I'm doing everything tonight just step by step by step to make sure that everything goes perfectly. And now, one thing with the Ryan 2, it's a different kind of target. There's a lot of minor details in it. So I'm actually going to be doing two sessions of it. One, uh, quicker images, like 20, 30 seconds to pick, really pick up on the core of the nebula itself. And then I'm going to go in and do my longer, you know, two and three minute exposures to pick up on all the outer details. I'm going to go in and make different layers in Photoshop and stack those together to hopefully really bring out details of the core and of all the uh, surrounding gases around the core of the nebula. I'm really excited to get this going tonight. This, I really do feel like this is hopefully going to be the biggest and best project on the channel so far. Now I finally got Polaris here visible in the photo scope and if you're still having trouble getting yourself photo aligned be sure to check my video that I'll link up here at the top so you can see exactly how I do it and so far it seems like it's worked pretty well. So I'm going to go in now and look at the polar scope align app and line up Polaris directly in the reticule with this one right here. It won't be long now before Orion comes up behind this tree. It's pretty much right here over my shoulder right now. When I came back out here, I rechecked my photo alignment and everything, and it seems to be just absolutely spot on. Hopefully, it's looking like it's the absolute best polar alignment I've ever had. I was really tedious with it this time, so hopefully that pays off for me. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 
do my three star alignment here, two or three star alignment, whichever one I believe I need, just kind of see how it goes. And uh, then I'll go ahead and get it lined up with a target here and wait just a little bit longer for it to come out. The one, two, and three star alignment was something that also confused me for a while. So uh, also be sure to check out the video that I'll link up above where I show you exactly how I do that as well. So let's go ahead, knock this out now. All right, now that Ryan has finally cleared the trees right here, I wanna go ahead and start imaging just the core itself. So the idea here is I'm gonna go in and pop off uh, 10 or 15 second shots really, just enough to bring out some slight details of the core. That way, whenever I do go in and stack all the photos together, there'll be more detail in the core than just exposing the whole nebula itself. So hopefully overall, the idea is I'm gonna have just a little bit better picture. Hopefully, we're gonna see how it goes here. This is the first time I've done this. Um, I'm not going to be doing any calibration frames for these short shots because there's no need to because it's going to be such a short exposure that there shouldn't be very much noise in it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and do this and see what we can get. Okay, I've got my core images going right now and I'm actually only doing little short 10 second exposures because uh, that really exposes what's called the trapezium really well. Now, I'm probably not pronouncing that right I'm not very good at pronouncing things right but that's my best attempt at it the trapezium so the trapezium is essentially the core or the heart of the Orion Nebula it is where new stars are born and actually this little small cluster of stars that you see in the middle scientists believe are very very young so it's really cool to be able to expose these stars individually here as you can see in this photo so I'm gonna go ahead and pop off maybe 20 or 30 of these shots right here and then go ahead and move on to my normal three minute exposures and see what we can get with that. All right, so I've got my two and a half minute shots going. So I went ahead and set my timer to go ahead and take 45 of those. So hopefully that means I'm gonna be getting a lot of data on the Ryan Nebula tonight. If, if that stays true, that's by far going to be the most data I've gotten on anything. And I wouldn't want it to be anything other than M42. And also another thing that I seen too that was picking up really well was the Running Man Nebula. And uh, in my last image of Orion, you could kind of see it coming out a little bit, but it was nothing special. But hopefully in this, and it looks like it's going to be popping out really, really well. So fingers crossed that everything stays stays smooth. I, I do have a few clouds off here to the west right now that's kind of lingering around a little bit longer than I'd like them to. Uh, hopefully they stay stay that way and don't come over this way. I've got completely clear skies here to the east right now. Well, unfortunately, my luck being the clouds did come and they've came in heavy. Uh, you can see I got a, I was about to start a time lapse here and you can see the couple pictures that I got. Uh, they really started rolling in. And looking at the cloud cover radar, um, I don't believe they're going to be going anywhere. I want to leave everything set up right here for a little while just to kind of wait and see if there are any clear spots coming or not. But I did get a decent amount of data. I got probably about 30, 30, 40 minutes worth. So, you know, it's, that's better than nothing. It's a lot better than I did on Pleiades the other night. Uh, yeah, there may be another little gap coming up right here soon, but I'm, I don't have my fingers crossed anymore. So, it's looking like the clouds are here to stay. I ended up getting 17 pictures. I counted all together, which comes out to like 45 minutes or so of data, which that's not bad. That's not quite what I was wanting to get, nowhere near it actually, but I'll take whatever I can get. So tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and get to processing it, and I'm taking plenty of calibration frames too, so hopefully I can, you know, really work with whatever data I did get. So I'm going to finish up my darts right now, then I'm going to do my flats, and go ahead and call it a night. Something's better than nothing. Got to remember that. See you guys in the morning. So here we are the next day now, and me and Lily here stayed up pretty late last night editing, and I've edited it on this photo so, so incredibly much today. Um, I've learned a lot about editing in this whole process here, and um, a huge, huge thank you to Trevor from Astro Backyard for his uh, Photoshop uh, 
astrophotography editing tutorial. That has helped me out so tremendously much here over the past few months and everything. And uh, yeah, it's been a really long road from this one. And I'm happy to say, Lily, are you itchy? And I'm really, really happy to say that I have by far managed to get my absolute best photo ever. Uh, like I said, it's taken me a really long time. And pretty much the basics here of what I did combining the two different exposures was you can see on Photoshop right here. So I've got my, my full, you know, Two and a half minute exposures here, followed by my you know, short ten, uh, 10 or 15 second ones. I forgot which it, what it was now. Basically, with this top layer here, I went in and I added a mask to it. And essentially, what that does, that allows me to basically paint, if you will, the lower layer, this layer here, onto the above layer, allowing the core of the Orion Nebula to come through more. And you see, just doing it this way right here is really unnatural, so you really gotta go in and play with a bunch of settings and everything to really get it perfect. And I've messed with this for so long now, I think I've got it pretty well spot on. I'm super, super happy with the final image. It's really crazy seeing here over the past two years is how far I've come on M42. I think it's safe to say, even though I didn't get near as much data as I wanted, I think it's safe to say that I passed my test that I set for myself last night. And this is also a huge improvement from the Pleiades incident that I had happen the other night too. So hopefully this makes up for that. I think it does. But anyways guys, thank you all so, so incredibly much for sticking with me through this long journey here. It's really starting to pay off now in spades. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.